Hello everybody, Terrence Pop here with another episode of Live from the Lair. And today I'm going to be talking about a pretty important subject and, uh, you know, moving forward into the future, things are going to destabilize more and young men out there, if they don't learn some critical skills, are going to open themselves up to some extreme danger. All right. And what I'm talking about here is uh, how to take a, an insult or a burn and just keep on going, all right? Now, I got picked on a lot as a kid all the way up to uh, my senior year. And uh, by the time I went into the Army at 17, I mean, I was still pretty naive. But, uh, you know, I had developed a pretty thick skin from all of the bull crap that took place. And uh, in today's day and age, we've removed the bullies. Everyone gets a trophy and there is no winners or losers. And we are seeing the uh, product of that today with so many young people out there with no ability to protect their own control panel in their thinking meat. And they're allowing people to say words that hurt their feelings, have them go off the rails, and do all kinds of crazy stuff, okay, to include crying, attacking, and cancel culture. I put these together here, there's 10 of them on this list, and I numbered them in importance to me, okay, and you can change these around however you want in your own mind, and if there's any additional ones that need to be put on here, leave them in the comments, and, uh, if you are a supporter, we'll be reviewing this on uh, Sunday, and hopefully they like it. We'll see what goes on. Uh, there's a few things I took off here because I just want to keep it to the top 10. Are you the kind of person who's run out of feelings to hurt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah. Then we have the redonkulous swag for you. And we have multiple locations where you can get it. Go to the Stream Elements store or Crypto Fashion and embrace your inner fat punisher. Because after all, there's a little bad pop in all of us, even your mother. Shirts, stickers, mugs, and hats are on sale now. Your support helps keep us independent from big tech and keeps this life-saving train on the tracks. Links are in the meat gazer box. <laughs> All right, the first defense that you have against insults, burns, harassment, whatever, is maintaining a stoic mind frame. And what I mean by that is simply this. When they, they speak at you, whatever they say, you remain calm. Uh-huh, sure, okay whatever everyone's entitled to their opinion and listen you will get a lot more respect that way if you can keep the stoic frame men will respect you once they see that especially if they mess with you over an extended period of time and you never uh slip or show your hand you maintain you know that level of stoicism you'll be all right all right next number two is you need to be able to throw back a burn. All right, people are going to burn you. Got it. You know, you should be able to, like, come back with something else. Now, up here in the north, we're uh, north of your mama line. So here, a lot of times, when people make a lot of comments in regards to your family, it always, shouldn't say always, but most of the time it revolves down or devolves down into your mama uh, kind of back and forth. I've seen all kinds of your mama stuff going on. It's hilarious. Now, if you try that south of the your mama line, you might just get punched in the mouth because those boys down south, uh, they don't like people talking about their women folk to include their mothers and sisters, aunts, uncles, or aunts in today's day and age, uncles. What are you going to say? All right. So you need to have pre-prepared at least a dozen comebacks. You need to think those up, burn them into your head because if you remain stoic 
and somebody throws a good burn and you calmly respond back and you burn them just as bad as they did you, there's a little bit of respect there. Now, respect is the currency men have to get along. You know, if you take away one man's respect by disrespecting him, you know, that's going to cause some serious issues. Uh, people have been killed over stuff like that, and it happens all the time in the inner cities. All right, number three, keep calm. All right, even if you're keeping the stoic mind frame and you're just savagely pissed inside, people will be able to pick up on that. You need to be able to be stoic, remain calm, and then everything will just flow right off your back like water off a duck. All right. Also, when you remain calm, you can access and use your pre-planned burns a lot easier so you don't get tripped up over words and stuff when you get angry. And that happens when you let anger touch the control surfaces of the vehicle you're navigating, which is your meat suit. I talked about this in my book, The Warrior's Way and the Soldier's Soul, all about hate and anger and how they should be uh, utilized in your life. Both of those emotions, they have a place, but in today's modern world, that place is used very seldom. All right. Uh, after that, number four, laugh. I can't tell you how many times I've got some really good burns and I just look at the guy and go, ho, ho, ho. yeah, okay, okay, that's a good burn, man. And you'd be surprised how much laughter diffuses situations. Like a good belly laugh holds back death, stumbles pain and misery, and can break down the walls of hopelessness. I've seen it done. I've done it myself. Okay, you need to maintain your ability to laugh. Life is a lot easier if you can still keep your sense of humor, even in the eye of the storm. All right, number five, walk away. This isn't the 17, 1600s or whatever where people duel to the death. All right. We're supposedly, we live in a much more civilized society, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, I've looked at a lot of the crime stats and population sizes, and for the most part, the crime and the population grow as the population grows. It just is what it is. We're evil, hairless monkeys, and, uh, you know, we're going to fight with each other. But it's really not that big of a deal if... Dude's like talking some mad trash to you, and you don't really know this man. You're not going to see him again. You don't work with him. He's not a friend of yours. You know, you just sit there and go, uh huh, do an about face and leave. Or just break contact, like, hey, I don't want no trouble. And you just walk away. Now, will that work all the time? No. But a majority of the time, meaning anywhere between 51 and 99%, it's going to work for you. Okay, walking away. You're not a coward, not in today's day and age with how the legal system is. Just walk away. Got it. Next, respond with facts. Because a lot of people who throw out these burns, they're just doing it to get a rise out of you. Turn it into a debate and prove how stupid they are by meeting their, their uh, comments with facts. Use logic and reason. They're arguing emotion. Emotions change on a whim. Logic and reason doesn't. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, keep the facts. That's just the way it works. All right, number seven. If you're going to use the keep on facts, you got to stay on point. All right, stay logical, say, stay reasonable, because your opponent is going to... Uh, say stuff to get you to get emotionally compromised and try to bring you down to his level where he can defeat you because he has more experience uh, being an idiot than you. Don't fall for it. Uh, stick on the facts. Stay on point. You'll be just fine. All right. Uh, number eight, change the subject. Now, this you'll see this is number eight on the list. Because uh, as we go down to 10, they become uh, less desirable. 
Uh, change the subject. I, I can't tell you how many times I've been involved in uh, some crazy verbal teardowns from enlisted members and officers who outranked me by a vast majority. And all I could really do is when these barrages are coming in is try to change the subject, catch it, redirect it, and say, oh, I know you're upset about this, but what about that? That way you can take some of the heat off you. Okay. Listen, there is no downside to at least attempting to change the subject. A lot of uh, situations that need to be diffused can be done by just changing the subject. It could be as simple as I agree to disagree, or it could be very complicated, uh, like uh, the minute I was getting yelled at about missing water cans and tools and what have you that were out of the company uh, uh, OME, or basic equipment, uh, I forget the acronym. And while that's going on, I change it to, well, we could find that equipment to, uh, in the boneyard because the hospital, they left and they left millions of you know, dollars of equipment. It's unsecured, so there you go. All right, after that, we've got uh, respond with humor. All right, maintain uh, a happy mindset. You know, always be uh, upbeat. Always have something smart to say. Use humor. Uh, I used to get by a lot of times with the graveyard humor, but that's just me. Everyone's different. The laughter and the humor are very important. They go together, but they are different. So I had to uh, separate the two. And I moved uh, you know, humor down to like number nine because most people really can't do that when they're you know, face-to-face, nose-to-nose with somebody who's just you know, on their shit. You know, that requires a little more discipline to get to that level. All right. And finally, number 10, ignore. Now, this is number 10 for a reason. Uh, we men, we, we tend to take our emotions and stuff them down and keep them, you know, constricted in a vault deep within us. And if you keep ignoring the individuals who are messing with you, it tends to build up. Now, there's a lot of men out there who have anger control issues. And after a certain amount of time, when this builds up, they snap and bad things ensue. All right, so that is the final recommendation I have for you on how to take a quality burn or deal with somebody who's being, uh, you know, verbally confrontational with you. All right. And sometimes it might devolve into fisticuffs. And you gentlemen out there, it would behoove you to learn how to box and wrestle because that keeps you from getting your teeth knocked out and severely injured if you come, against, uh, come up against somebody who really knows what they're doing. All right, now, I'm not telling you to, to fall back on fighting immediately, but be prepared that it could ensue. Okay? Now, listen. The men out there, especially the young guys, don't know how to do this. They have very thin skin. Build the skin up. Turn it into the skin of a rhino or an elephant. That way when uh, people are needling you or messing with you, it just rolls off your back like water off a duck. And trust me, once you get this skill set down, it'll change your goddamn life. Plain and simple. Anyway, that's my time. I talk about this subject in my book, The Warrior's Way and Soldier's Soul. It's on Amazon. You just do a search for my name, Terrence Pop. There it is. You guys take it easy and maintain your calm. 